Today we're going to talk about the COVID-19 mRNA vaccine, its ingredients, and if this vaccine is actually safe. Hi, I'm Megan. Some people are hesitant to get vaccinated for COVID-19 because this vaccine was made really quickly, in less than a year, while others have taken four to 15 years to make. It makes people wonder how safe the vaccine actually is. Let's go over some of those safety concerns together. Are vaccines safe? All vaccines are thoroughly tested and must be shown to be safe and effective before they're approved for use in people. With any medication or treatment, there can be side effects, but the point of getting a vaccine is to keep people healthy. So if the vaccine protects them from an infection, but causes other health problems in people, the vaccine won't be allowed for use in more people. The rule is the benefits of the treatment always have to outweigh the risk of any bad side effects happening. COVID-19 has killed nearly 5 million people and made many more very sick. The new COVID-19 vaccines prevent serious illness and death, and researchers spent a lot of time and care on what goes into the vaccines, what the right dose is, testing out how well the vaccine works at preventing sickness, and many other things. How were the mRNA vaccines developed so quickly? Some people are worried that the new COVID-19 mRNA vaccines were developed too quickly and that steps might have been missed in making sure the vaccine works and is safe, but no steps have been skipped. The advances in gene sequencing technology, 30 years of mRNA medical research, and the fact that researchers from all over the world were studying COVID-19 help things come together much more quickly than normal. Instead of having a small team of scientists working together on this for 10 or 15 years, we had thousands of scientists working on it for one year. These scientists also started with a lot of knowledge about the coronavirus from a similar but smaller SARS outbreak in 2003. One very time-consuming part of vaccine development is the actual science bench work of learning and testing ideas about the germs and the vaccines. Another big part that takes a long time is just waiting. Waiting for other scientists to review your ideas, waiting for funding and permission to begin testing or move on to the next type of testing. A lot of people need to look over this research before it gets the go ahead. And this was all faster for COVID-19 vaccines than other drug trials because it became a huge priority and got to be skipped to the front of the line to be reviewed and get its official permissions. Trials or testing for safety. Many safety trials for the COVID-19 vaccines start in the lab, looking at how the vaccine and its ingredients interact with cells and animals. These are called preclinical studies. And once all the tests make sure the vaccine and its ingredients are safe and effective in cells and animals and that there's no outstanding safety concerns, then they can start to test them in small groups of people, which are called clinical trials. For the Pfizer vaccine, the first one to hit the market, they spent seven months doing clinical trials and monitored tens of thousands of people who received the vaccine to make sure they were protected from COVID, there was no damage to their bodies from the vaccine, and that there were no severe adverse effects. Now, more than 5 billion doses of the vaccine have been given across the world, and scientists are still collecting information about any side effects from the people who get the vaccine. Serious side effects are super, super rare, like a few people for every 100,000 or million vaccines given. They happen way less than the risks of having serious health problems from COVID-19. Ingredients and what are they for? Vaccines don't have as many ingredients as you might think, and although the new mRNA vaccines are newer and seem more complicated, they have less ingredients than most vaccines. We're going to go over the ingredients in the Pfizer mRNA vaccine and explain to you what they're for. The first ingredient is mRNA. It's the instructions for your cells to make the spike protein. And mRNA breaks down after being used to make proteins, so it doesn't interact with our own DNA or hang around. Next, we have fats or lipids. 
mRNA molecules are very sensitive to damage and are too big to get inside your cells by themselves. So the fats form a bubble around the mRNA to protect them and help them get into the cells through the fatty cell membrane. These lipids have been studied since the 60s and have been used to safely deliver medicines to cells since the 90s. Then there are salts. We're mostly made of salty water, so these salts help match the vaccine to the levels naturally inside us and balance the pH to something close to ours. We can't be putting anything too acidic or too basic into us. The vaccines are stored at very, very cold temperatures, way below freezing, and ice crystals could damage the molecules inside the vaccines. So the salts and the last ingredient, sucrose or sugar, helps stabilize the vaccine when it's frozen by blocking big ice crystals from forming. Thanks for watching. We hope we answered your questions about the safety of the COVID-19 mRNA vaccines and their ingredients. If you would like to learn more about germs and vaccines, check out our other videos in the link below. If you still have questions, send us an email or message us through our Instagram or Twitter. Thanks for joining us and stay curious. Make sure to click like and subscribe for more videos and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. To support the Youth Biolab's ongoing programming and expansion plans, please contact St. Boniface Hospital Foundation at stbhf.ca.